Hey you guys, welcome back to Build It Motorsport. Um, probably wondering where I've been. It's been a quite a few months since I posted something. I think seven months. And uh, so, basically, quick update on the channel. So, what's been going on with the Battle Wagon? Well, um, as a lot of you guys know, if you're subscribed, in October of 22, uh, the transmission fried the overdrive clutch. Um, and I assumed that it was because you could not build one of these transmissions, from what I had understood, to hold this power. Uh, that research I did after it went told me it wouldn't hold the kind of power it's, hold, it's supposed to hold for the supercharged truck. And we'll take a little tour around it if you're new. A um, little nostalgia trip for the rest of you who are subscribed. But, so, I wait till February to get, to do anything with it. Uh, I had to get, I had a new vehicle, the Jeep. The Jeep, and that was gonna be my new daily driver. And I was going to, I decided, hey, I need a daily driver. We're gonna go serious with the truck, and uh, like really serious with the truck. And so, I fixed the Jeep up over the winter, and everything was great with that. Good rig, good daily for me. Uh, so February, I decide, hey, well, finally time. I'm gonna pull the transmission, send it off for warranty. So the transmission was built and was for warranty. Now I was like, well, I'm gonna have to baby it around because I cannot make this transmission uh, hold the power even though it's a fully built 545 RFE. Well, um, so I find out and talk to them and they're like, no, 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 it will hold that. It should hold the power you're putting. Uh, we can build it to do that and we will warranty it for that. So I was like, all right, you guys insist. So I send it off, I get it back and then not only do I not have first and second, like whenever I, I had first and second when I sent it out, but not only do I not have overdrive and the gears above that, I don't have first and second. So, of course, now I gotta pull the transmission out again. I send it back again. And they fight me and fight me and fight me. And then finally, now I got the transmission in it a couple months ago. And uh, so, a bunch of trouble. Had to end up getting a wholly new valve body. There was actually an issue with the valve body internally that caused it to shred the clutch to begin with. It, it bound up between second and third. So, now you guys. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go look around the truck and we're gonna talk about what's up next for the channel and what's up next with the battle wagon so let's take a little tour the battle wagon is a built 5.7 Hemi it has a cam ported everything in there it's got headers full exhaust on the way out and it has a torque storm centrifugal supercharger um, and basically it's a mean machine um, we have a fully built 545 RFE. We have all the goodies and gizmos and gadgets. Got a shock tower delete to clear the supercharger, uh, the filter that's on that. Got some nice Archons. Got some heavy duty front control arms there. And some far from stock traction bars. And I mean, I've gone through this thing. I've rebuilt so much of it. An interior to the truck. We got some gauges. And, uh, yeah, now some of you guys who are subscribed may be wondering why is it got nothing in it? Well, there's nothing wrong with the truck. I know the truck's gonna hold. But during the time that I was dealing with the transmission and think and during the time that we were getting it fixed, I thought to myself, hey. The woman that I've been dating for almost three years, which at that point in time was three years and a month, I want to marry her. So I asked her to be my wife. And uh, so that was about six months ago, I think, that I asked her to marry me and she said yes. And we were engaged. And now I'm married. So, I'm married. We have a cat. And. <laughs> We have another dog that's her dog that's her cat and he's a great cat outdoor cats are the best cats but so i'm married you guys and uh, i'm happy to be married everything's good she's a great woman i'm very picky and so great amazing beautiful wife that i have and uh with that i decided hey you know i want to get into something that's more couple focused and the truck has a lot of uh, the truck's paid for everything on this truck is completely paid for and I thought, why don't I sell it? So, with that, that we're selling the truck, um, and it being the flagship vehicle on 
this YouTube channel, Build It Motorsport, um, that kind of takes a hit. Uh, it doesn't make the YouTube channel make much sense. Um, we do have the Jeep, and that is turning into quite the good daily and the good off-road rig and uh, really a good trail rig for the tight trails we have here in Arkansas. Um, now, originally, and this video never got posted, but originally, when I first started this YouTube channel, before I ever made the first video, I thought that I would make a little off-road video. And that video ended very badly. Uh, I <laughs> I went wheeling in the truck and blew a beat off of it. And we didn't do any like crazy stuff, but I blew a, a beat off the tire and I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. So, but I've always loved doing that. I've always been an outdoorsy person. This build a truck thing, I think was a phase for me. Um, where I live, it's very much in, it's called the natural state. Arkansas is called the natural state. So I'm selling the truck. All the equity that's in the truck is going to basically, because I, like I said, it's paid off. Everything in this truck's paid off. But you imagine it's got quite a bit of coin that is invested in it. And uh, if we sold the truck, my wife and I, if we decided to sell the truck, then that would give us quite a bit of money to work with. We've got some debts in other areas, and I'm not trying to get too personal into my life, but we have some debts in other areas, not as much as the truck's worth, but some small debts. And we're going to use the truck to pay those completely off, and this truck is going to provide a great wedding gift to ourselves by selling it. And we're going to get into off-roading and more outdoorsy stuff. I have kayaks, I love to fish, take the Jeep places, do some off-roading, do some camping. I have a camper. And... Uh, um, I guess do some overlanding as well. Uh, that's like combining camping and, and wheeling at the same time. Um, so we are going to start a new YouTube channel together. And uh, that's something that we both agreed on. We both agreed on all this. I actually brought it up like, hey, what if we sold the truck? And she actually doesn't want me to sell the truck. So she's on y'all's side. For those of you who are fans of the battle wagon, she's on your side. So uh, by the time you watch this video... The truck may or may not be sold. Um, currently listed at $16,000. That is a bargain. Because if y'all know as much as I know about Marketplace, it's a pain in the butt to sell anything. I mean, I'm, I, I'm getting, it's already been for sale on Marketplace. And I've got so many messages on it. And most of them are just people wasting my time. Anyways, you guys, I'm selling the truck. The truck will be yours. Uh, the transmission will 100% hold the power that is in this. And the only reason why it didn't was because the valve body was faulty and it did not release second gear when it was applying third and it smoked the third gear clutch. And that's all there is to it. I've been driving this for about two months to proof it. And it will 100% hold the power. And as a matter of fact, it feels better than ever and it drives in town better without having the transmission getting up to like high operating temperature. It never really overheated the trans but before, but it would get up there. Now it runs right in range, and that's awesome. So um, with that 2800 stall converter, that's to be expected a little bit, but it's great now. So I'm selling the truck. It may or may not be gone already by the time you see this video, but I'm selling the truck, and we are starting a new YouTube channel. And uh, I don't know if I should plug it or not in this video, but uh, I will anyway. It's just going to be adventures of my wife and I and our dogs and eventually our kids and and to be quite frank with you guys i haven't had a lot of followers on here but i appreciate those of you who have watched the videos so if you want to go check out the rest of our adventures uh you can go and subscribe to adventure up that's going to be our new youtube channel together uh on youtube it just look up adventure up you got some mountains and it says adventure up in one word and uh we're excited to do this excited to diversify and get back to the stuff we really love to do so um, thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate all the support. The channel will remain up, and I'll have access to it. You can comment, um, and the Build It Motorsport website will still be active. We're still selling PCV reroutes, and you guys can go pick those up at builditmotorsport.com, and you can contact me at chris at builditmotorsport.com, or you can leave a comment on the video. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Go over there if you want to go and check out the, our adventures. Go to Adventure Up on YouTube and subscribe and uh, 
we're not gonna have a video for a while we've got some housekeeping to do because we're freshly married but thanks guys this is chris build motorsport signing off